Today we will see how we can manage India compliance in Deskela books. So the first thing that you need to do is while creating your organization, you need to specify certain details. So let's look at what these details are. When you sign up for the first time or create a new organization, you need to specify the organization name. And most importantly, you need to select a country as India over here. Once you do that, you can see the financial year date and the book's beginning date is automatically populated to whatever is applicable. If you want to change that, you can change these dates from here. The book's beginning date can be flexible. So if you want to start somewhere in January or February, you may do so. However, the financial year start date will be as per the Indian compliances. You can save these. Once you save this, you need to go to settings. Under organization profile, click on edit. Under the compliances section, you need to specify whether your business is registered for GST or not. If yes, you need to enter the GST IN and the GST registered date. In case you are registered for the composition scheme or for SEZ, you may need to check that. The other important thing is you need to specify your address, specifically your home state. Since tax calculation in India depends on your home state and the place of supply state, you need to specify the state for your own organization. Once you've done that, you can save this. Once saved, the other set of definitions that you require to set up are at the contacts and the product level. Before we go to that, let me show you how many taxes are already configured in Deskela. So under settings, when you click on tax, you can see all the default GST types have already been configured. In case your organization deals in another GST type, you can simply click on add tax, define the tax name. Let's say GS3%, depending on the nature of your business. Percentage is three. I'll enter the same tax code. Whether it's applicable on sales, purchase, or both, you can select both in your case. The default account. So we have already tagged GST payable in case you need to monitor this in a different account you can create that under accounting chart of accounts and select that click on save and the tax type gets created let's go to contacts now this is the area where we will create our customers and vendors we need to specify details based on which the tax calculation happens in project two in addition to the customer name or vendor name and the pan tan number under accounting you need to specify the GST treatment type. We have GST business regular that is registered, composition, unregistered, consumer, overseas, special economic zone and deemed export. If you select registered business, you need to specify the GST IN which has to be in the correct format. And further on the customer type. Not applicable is basic. Other than that, we have the SEZ without payment of GST and with GST. Same if you're creating a vendor. NA stands for the regular case. Otherwise, if it's an SEZ, you need to specify. When you change the GST treatment type, let's say if you select overseas, the GST and disappears because GST and is not required. You need to specify the customer type. It can be export with pay or without pay. And in the case of vendor, it will be in import. So in the case of consumer, again, GST treatment type is not required. Let's skip this. Let's set this as GST registered. Under the address tab, the most important field is the state. Now, since state is what decides whether CGST or SGST will be applicable or IGST in the case state is different, you need to specify the state. The states can be selected from the drop down. I need to save this. The next important detail is required to be set up at the product level. Under products, when you click on new product, you get two options, goods and services. Now, as we know for goods, we need to define the HSN code. So this can be selected from a drop down list. As soon as you start typing, you can select from a drop down list and the GST percentage gets automatically populated. For any miscellaneous situation, in case you need to change this, you can still select from a list of drop down. In case you select services, you need to define the SAC code. This is again available from a drop down list. As soon as you select any of these SAC codes, the tax percentage gets auto populated. 
in case cess is applicable that will also get auto populated once you've saved the product you can start creating transactions let's quickly create an invoice let's select the contact let me add a product Now, as soon as I select the product, you can see the GST percentage is auto selected. And since this particular customer is from a different state, IGST also gets automatically populated. Now, if I select a contact or customer from the same state, let me do that. You can see the calculation automatically changes to CGST and SGST. The tax percentage remains the same, but we get to see CGST and SGST because for the same state this is what is applicable you can save this similarly in purchases if you create a purchase bill select the vendor the product and you can see that the tax is automatically populated. Depending on the state, you get to see IGST or CGST and SGST in the case of same state. 